Hey everyone, this is Dan. Are you tired of looking at your computer screen six and a half hours a day just to track how your stock portfolio is doing? How about if your computer can narrate the stock quotes for you and tell you whether the price of a certain stock is outside of the range that you have set? I found a way to get Microsoft Excel to do that for me. This is an example of what Excel can do. AMD $89.44 above high limit of 89. QQQ $305.90 below low limit of 307. By adding some formulas in Excel, you can have Excel keep track of your entire stock portfolio and alert you verbally when the price of one of the stocks or the value of your entire portfolio drifted outside of a range that you define. With Excel watching your stock portfolio, you can put on your headphones and be sitting on the patio enjoying the sun, reading a book, or watching a movie because you know that Excel will notify you when you need to be notified. Let's see how we can do that. First of all, let's open up a blank Excel workbook. I have a Microsoft 365 subscription. That's how I can make sure that I have the latest version of the Microsoft Excel software on my PC. We need to create a macro first to narrate the stock quotes. There are many ways to create a macro. The easiest way is probably just to start out by recording a macro and then modify the macro that's been recorded. So we want to click on the developer option here and then we click on record macro. For the macro name, I'm going to name it narrate underscore stocks. For shortcut key, let's say control Q. For description, I say narrate stock quotes. Click OK. Well, actually, previously I created a macro by the same name, so I'm just going to override it. All right, now at this point, I have nothing on the spreadsheet yet. Because the uh, recording already started, the recording process, I'm just going to go anywhere on a spreadsheet and type in some random characters just to feed something to the macro recorder. Once I've done that, then I click on Developer and then click on Stop Recording. Now we can go to Macros. See this macro that we created? Click on edit. This is what the macro recorder created. It has the name of the macro, which is narrate underscore stocks. Some additional comments about the name, the description, narrate stock quotes, and then the keyboard shortcut, which is control Q. And then the rest is the recording of what we just did, which is to type in certain characters at cell G8 and H8 and I8. But we really don't need that for our purpose. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to put in the functions that we need to narrate the stock quotes. Without doing a lot of typing, I already created the codes on a notepad on the side. I'm going to paste it in and then I'll explain it. The functions that we need is the range function, which put the cursor at a certain cell on a spreadsheet and then with a period and then activate. So we're activating that cell, in this case C4, and then the range function again referring to C4 again, period, speak. So we're telling Excel to speak the content of cell C4. And then we will also have Excel speak the content of C5. We're just gonna demonstrate it with the contents in two cells, C4 and C5. And we're done. The macro of course ends with the end sub, which is required in the Microsoft macros. Once we've done this very simple program, we click the close button here on the upper right hand corner to close the macro editor and we really don't need these characters anymore remember the spreadsheet is going to speak c4 and c5 these two cells and let's color them yellow so we can visually remind ourselves in the meanwhile we have to do some additional work in the spreadsheet for example if you want to narrate the stop quote for this etf qqq triple q's type in qqq here next to it so when you put in the letters qqq in the cell and you click on data stock the stock selector window will pop up on the right and then it will tell you to select one of the stocks here related to the letters qqq and what we want is the investco qqq trust one which is the etf we click select here we go and then to find the price for QQQ, the current price, 
as we click on this cell, which has a data type of stock, you see this little pop-up icon here. You click on that, and you can select different fields, the beta, 52-week high, 52-week low, and so on and so forth. What we want to select is the price. As you click on that, the current price of QQQ now is shown in this cell here. So we have the stock symbol, we have the current price. And then to have Excel read or narrate the stock symbol and the current price, remember it's going to narrate C4 and C5. So for C4, we want to have the stock symbol there. So we put in the equal E4, which is QQQ. And then for C5, we want a stock price, which is the number in cell G4. So here we go. And we now want Excel to narrate the contents of C4 and C5. Let's test it out. We can go to developer, we can run the macro, go to developer, macro, and then since this is the one and only macro here, I just click on run. QQQ, $315.46. Here it is. Alternatively, remember we assign a shortcut key to the macro, so I'm going to just press Control Q. QQQ, $315.46. Now that activated the macro, and Excel narrated the stock price for us. If you like what you've seen so far, I'd like to encourage you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button. That will enable you to receive notification when I post my next video. It will also encourage me to make more videos like this in the future. As usual, I very much welcome your comments, questions, and suggestions. Thank you very much. Let's continue. We have a lot of interesting stuff to cover. Now let's get a little fancier. First of all, I'm going to save this away in my temp folder. Since there's a macro in the workbook, instead of saving the workbook in the regular Excel workbook format, we need to click on Excel Macro Enable Workbook. That way, the macro can be saved. All right. To save time, I've already done some programming. Let's open up another workbook that I already programmed, and I'll explain the macros and the formulas in that workbook. We have the same spreadsheet like what we've done before, except I added some additional instructions. It says on Macro narrate stocks will narrate the words in cell C4 and C5 and press Control Q to activate macro and then press escape to stop macro. Now to have Excel alert you when the stock price exceeds certain limits or falls below certain limits, let's look at this particular spreadsheet. It looks very similar to the last one here. The name of the spreadsheet is Limits. You can download this entire workbook with the link below this video. It's in Google Drive. We have C4 and C5 being narrated. However, here I'm putting in two different stock symbols. The first one is SPY, the ETF, and then QQQ. And then the current price, SPY is 406.07, QQQ is 309.81, and I'm here setting the low limit and high limit for both of them. And the low limit, in this case, I'm setting 404 for SPY and high limit 500. And of course, 406.07 is right between the low and high limit. It's within range, and that's why I don't need Excel to alert me about SPY because there's nothing wrong with SPY at this point. However, QQQ, the current price is 309.81, and I define the low limit as 300 and high limit is 303, QQQ is 309.81, which is higher than the high limit of 303, and that's why I want Excel to alert me by saying QQQ is more than high limit of 303. You might notice that here, let me label them in blue background. In this cell H2 and I2, these two cells, I'm putting in the text that I want Excel to narrate when the price of a certain stock is either below the low limit or above the high limit. I have the formula here behind cell C5 to say that if the price of QQQ here, which is in F5, is less than H5, which is the low limit, then you put the stock symbol QQQ together with this string is less than low limit of, and then put in the low limit, 300. I'm using the concatenation function of the ampersand sign. And likewise, if QQQ is greater than high limit, then put the string together and then narrate it. You can download this workbook from the link that I have below this video. It's uh, stored in Google Drive, so don't worry about doing a lot of typing. 
Once it's programmed, then we're ready. With this particular macro, I really haven't changed anything in the way of macro. Basically, I'm having Excel narrate cell C4 and C5, just like the first macro here, except I'm changing the content of C4 and C5 by putting in some logic to identify whether a particular stock is outside of the range that I defined. Let me make this prettier by centering the limits here. Now we're ready. So I'm going to press Control Q. QQQ is more than high limit of 303. Let's try again. Control Q. QQQ is more than high limit of 303. Or if the low limit for SPY, for example, is 407, then SPY is now below the low limit. So we are seeing the text showing up here. And then if we press Control Q again. SPY is less than low limit of 407. QQQ is more than high limit of 303. Here it is, both of them work. Let's go one step further because we do not want to be pressing Control Q or Control Z all day to get Excel to speak to us. And that's why we want to repeat the macro in the loop. So that brings us to this particular spreadsheet, which is named Repeat. Everything looks the same like this previous one, the worksheet called Limits. Because it's a different macro, then I have to use a different shortcut key, which is Control Z to activate a macro. And I'll show the macro later on. And here I also put in a variable, which is how many seconds for the repeat. In this case, I put in five. That means this macro will be repeated every five seconds. Again, I've set the limit here. And let's change the low limit of SPY to 407. So a message will show up here for SPY. It says it's lower than the low limit. And QQQ, in this case, is higher than the high limit. And then if you look at the macro, it's called a name is called a repeat narrate stocks. And here, actually, it's in the same macro editor, repeat narrate stocks. I'm defining some variables with Visual Basic. You can copy this again from the Google Drive download. You can just download it and then run it and then modify it. I use the same activate and speak function, but after Excel has narrated cells C4 and C5, then I have Excel go into wait mode, depending on how many seconds I want it to wait. In this case, wait for five seconds. And then after five seconds is done, go back to the top, narrate again. Wait for five seconds, go back to the top, narrate again. That's all there is. And hotkey or shortcut key is Control Z instead of Control Q for this particular macro. So let's close the macro editor and hit Control Z. SPY at 406.07 is less than low limit. QQQ at 309.81 is more than high limit. Now it's waiting for five seconds. SPY at 406.07 is. is less than low limit. QQQ at 309.81 is more than high limit. Rest for five seconds. SPY at 406.07 is less than low limit. QQQ at 309.81 is more than high limit. Yep, let's press escape to end the macro. I might as well put a note. If you make the spreadsheet even fancier by putting the number of shares you have on each stock, and then you can calculate the current value of your stock portfolio by multiplying the stock price by the number of shares. And then you can also define a range for the value of the stock portfolio. For example, if it gets above the upper limit by more than $1,000 or $2,000, whatever limit you want to define, then you want Excel to alert you. Or the flip side is that if it falls more than $2,000 or $3,000, then you can have Excel alert you as well. That really free you up from looking at your computer screen all day. Once you have these Excel macros working, they are really going to make your life better. However, I need to caution you that the stock quotes from Microsoft Excel sometimes can be 30 seconds to a minute late compared to the real-time stock quotes. Therefore, you need to be very careful and you should always refer back to the stock quotes at your brokerage for making your buy or sell decisions. If you like what you've seen, I'd like to encourage you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button. Thank you for watching all the way to here. I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies and analyses for educational and entertainment purposes only. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions 
and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.